Hi everyone, this is Yu Chen. I'm very happy to present our paper entitled Hierarchy Integrity Signature and Encryption. This is a joint work with Chang Tang and Yu Yuan. We will start with the background, then introduce our new notion called Hierarchy Integrity Signature and Encryption, then discuss its extension with global escrow property. Finally, we make a comparison between related schemes. PKE and Signature are workhorse primitives that are typically used simultaneously to secure communication, namely public encryption protects confidentiality, while Signature protects authenticity. Examples including secure communication software such as PGP and WhatsApp and privacy-preserving cryptocurrencies such as Zcash, Zizer, and PGC. A subtle issue is that when PKE and signatures are used together, we need to concede joint security. More precisely, we stipulate that EUFCMA security for the signature component still holds even in the presence of an additional decryption oracle while the INDCC security for the PKE component still holds even in the presence of an, an additional signing oracle. Basically, there are two principles when using PKE and signature together. The key separation principle is best illustrated by the Cartesian product combined public key scheme namely signature and public key encryption, use independent key pairs. This is also a widely accepted engineering folklore, using different key pairs for different cryptographic operations. The advantages of key reuse is that the joint security is immediate, the construction is off the shelf, and it naturally admits individual key escrow which is a vital property that helps to achieve a balance between users' authenticity requirement and the society's auditing requirement. The disadvantage of key reuse is it doubles key management complexity and the certificate cost, and makes the design of high-level protocol more sophisticated. We highlight that certificate cost include but not limited to registration, ensuing storage, transmission, verification, and building and recurring fees. The key reuse principle stipulates that the signature and the public encryption components use the same key pair. We refer to such a scheme as integrity the signature and encryption, abbreviated as ISE. The advantage of key reuse is it reduces key management complexity, certificate cost, and a cryptographic footprint, and simplifies the design of high-level protocol. The disadvantage of key reuse is that joint security is not immediate and thus require careful design, and it does not admit individual key escrow and classified protection of secret keys. In the real world, ISE that adheres to key reuse principle has been deployed in EMV standard pin identity and equivalent currency such as ZIS and PGC. As discussed above, we are facing a dilemma between key reuse that brings performance benefit and key separation that supports individual key escrow. An intriguing question is, can we enable individual key escrow mechanism while retaining the merits of key reuse? To address this question, we propose a new cryptographic primitive called Hierarchy Integrated Signature and Encryption. In HISE, a single public key serves as verification and uh, encryption key, while there is a hierarchy between the signing key and the decryption key. The signing key serves as the master secret key and can derive decryption key used only for decryption in a one-way manner. 
As to security, we require strong joint security. We require the INTCC security for the PK component remains, even in the presence of a signing oracle, while the EFCMS security for the signature component remains, even the adversary got to see the entire decryption key, rather than merely access to decryption oracle. HIC enjoys compact public key size. It helps to reduce key management complexity and simplify the design and analysis of high-level protocols. These merits make HIC suitable for scenarios that simultaneously require privacy, authenticity, and a key escrow. For example, in ZISA and PGP, Individual users may need to delegate the decryption capability to a third party to outsource costly operation, all for auditing purpose. If using ISE, such delegation will also compromise the security of signature. But if using HIC, the strong joint security of HIC ensures that one can safely delegate the decryption capability without breaching the security of signature. Next, we present two generic constructions of HIC. On Azure Crypto 2011, Python et al. gave an elegant ISC construction from IBE. Their main idea is to apply the NOR and the CHK transform to IBE simultaneously. To achieve joint security, they use bit prefix trick to partition the identity space used to encode the message and tag. However, IAC from IB does not lend itself to IHIC. This is because the master secret key plays the role of both secret signing key and the decryption key, and thus does not satisfy strong joint security. Our first HIC construction is largely inspired by the aforementioned IAC construction from IB. The main idea is still to apply the NOR and the CHK transform to IBE. The difference is that we set the master secret key as the signing key, while using secret keys for identities in space I1 as decryption key. A technical hurdle is that the decryption key should be short, thus all secret keys for identities in space I1 must have a succinct representation. To guarantee this, we propose a new type of IB called constraint, called constraint IB for prefix predicates as the underlying primitive, which in turn can be built from binary tree encryption. We skip the rest of technical details here. The above generic construction from constraint IB enjoys strong joint security in the standard model. But so far, there is no efficient constructions of constrained IBE in applications where INT CPA security service. A one is willing to accept INT CCA security. In the RAN worker model, we have a much simpler and more efficient constructions of IHIAC from any IBE. As to instantiation, we can choose the Bonnet Franklin identity based encryption as a starting point. Our second generic construction of HIC is from PKE and NIZKPOK. The goal is to add signing functionality to PKE in a generic manner. In this way, we can bootstrap PKE in use to HIC in a seamless manner. The idea is to correct a hierarchy key structure by one-way function, as shown by this figure. We first pick a random bit string as a signing key, then maps it to the random bit R via a uniform one-way function. Finally, runs PKE's key generation algorithm with the random bit R to generate the public key and the decryption key. The encryption component of HIC is simple, which is the same as the underlying which is the same as that of the underlying public encryption. But we are facing the following technical hurdle when designing signature. First, note that the secret key is an unstructured bit string. How to create a signing functionality? 
Second, to attain strong joint security, the signature should remain secure even in the presence of decryption key. Our solution is using general purpose Z general purpose public coin ZKPOK to prove knowledge of secret key with respect to public key. To make the security proof go through, we require relation R key to be leakage resilient one way given leakage R and thus certainly the decryption key. The minimal requirement on G of PKE key PK's caging algorithm is target collision resistant. Now we can attain strong joint security. The security of signature component is implied by Sigma protocol for liquid resilient one way function. The security of public key encryption component is based on the fact that the additional signing oracle is useless and the uniformity of F admits security reduction to the underlying public encryption. As to instantiation, we can choose ZK friend Poseidon hash to realize uniform one-way function, choose Elgamma encryption to realize public, public key encryption, and choose Spartan to realize ZKPOK. We note that the above construction is still less practical for real-world applications. The bottleneck lies at general purpose ZKPOK. We left a more efficient instantiation as an interesting open problem. Then we describe an important extension of HIC with global escrow property. Nowadays, large-scale large collaborative working apps such as Slack is getting popular. Encrypted communication may contain proprietary information. On one hand, employers may have a right to get access to all private communication for various reasons. A naive solution is to collect the individual decryption key one by one. Clearly, this is impractical and inefficient. On the other hand, employees need to be assured that even a malicious employer cannot slant them by forging signatures for fabricated communications. We further expected global escrow property, namely there is a super key that can decrypt any subtext encrypted on any public key. While signature remains secure even in the presence of the super key. To attain global escrow property for HIC in a generic manner, we first take a detour to, revi to revisit global escrow public key encryption. In global escrow public key encryption, escrow engine holds a global escrow decryption key that can decrypt subtext encrypted on any public key. Global SQL public key encryption is long overdue for formal definition and generic construction. The only practical scheme is the SQL algorithm PKE proposed by Bonnet and Franklin from Bilinear Maps. Here is the formal definition of global SQL public key encryption. It is basically the same as the ordinary public key encryption except that there is an escrow agent to generate a key pair, in which the escrow public key is a part of a global, par global public premise. The escrow decryption key is a super key. The correctness stipulates honest generated subtext decrypting to the same plaintext on the decryption key of escrow center and the real receiver. We also require consistency, which stipulates no PPT adversaries can generate an uniform subtext decrypting to different plaintext on the EDK and SKR. One may think the construction of global SQL public key encryption is trivial. However, several attempts fail. For example, IBE does not directly lend itself to global SQL PKE, since in public key encryption, users must be able to generate the key pairs themselves. Broadcast encryption also fails, since in global SQL PKE, standards could be malicious, especially when he has incentive to invade oversight. 
Next, we present two generic construction of global SQL PKE. Our first construction is from any public key encryption and IZK. The SQL sender simply generates a key pair himself. To encrypt a plain text M, the sender encrypts it on the receiver's public key and SQL sender's public key, respectively. Then append an IZK proof to prove that the two subtext indeed encrypt the same plain text. The above construction is exactly a new application of the Noya transform beyond CC security. It gives a generic approach to compile any public encryption to global SQL public encryption. When it comes to instantiation, we can realize PKE with Algama PKE in, in EC groups and realize NIZK with Grusa high proof and Sigma proof. Particularly, when PKE satisfies the randomness fusion property, we can safely reuse randomness and then apply twisted Noyan transform. Our second generic construction is from three party NIKE, namely non interactive key exchange. The ESCO center. The SQL center simply generates a key pair himself to send a plain text to receiver with PK beta. The sender runs three party NIKE in his head, namely first the generate a temporary key pair, PK alpha, SK alpha, then computes a shared key among PK alpha, PK beta, PK gamma, and finally encrypt the plain text with the shared key. Upon receiving the ciphertext, the receiver first recovers the shared key with his secret key, SK beta, then decrypts it with the shared key. The semantic security of global SQL PKE is implied by the security of IKE. The consistency is guaranteed if the public key space of the underlying IKE is efficiently recognizable. Faithfully realize the above generic construction with Rook's three party NIKE, we recover the only known prior scheme, Bonnet Franklin SQL Algama. This is nice because we can explain it in theory now. However, this scheme is rather efficient because symmetry pairing is too slow. The original Rook's protocol inherently relies on symmetry pairing, thus, a second attempt to improve efficiency is adapting Rook's protocol with asymmetry pairing. However, in the resulting global SQL public key encryption, key and subtext size get doubled and the decryption is very expensive. Our insight is that a relaxed version of IKE suffices for the construction of global SQL PKE. That is, the key pairs of IKE could be of different types, and the shared key could be agreed from different types key pairs. In light of this observation, we obtain an efficient global SQL PKE from asymmetric pairing. This is a technology roadmap of global SQL HIAC. We can, one can freely take any path from leaf node to the root node. Combine previous result. We present two instantiations by applying twisted Noyan transform to HISC scheme one. We obtain global escrow HIS scheme one by combining Poseidon hash and Spartan with global escrow PK scheme two. We obtain global escrow HIS scheme HIS scheme two. At last. We make a comparison between combined public key scheme IC and global escrow HIC. From the table, we can see that global escrow HIC not only enjoys the benefit of key reuse, but also support richer functionality, such as individual and global key escrow. We implement our concrete schemes in C++. The experimental result demonstrate our global escrow HIA scheme have comparable efficiency with the most efficient combined public key scheme and enjoy compact key size as well. 
As a product, we also obtained the most efficient global SQL PKE scheme to date, which beats the best previous known scheme with 12 to 13 times speed up. Let's summarize our talk. In this work, we put forward a new notion called HIC with formal definition and generic constructions. Our notion hits a sweet balance and thus reconcile the apparent conflict between key separation and key reuse, resolving an open problem left open in EuroCrypto 2001. It can be used as a drop-in replacement of PKE plus signature in scenarios that require authenticity, confidentiality, and auditability simultaneously, and both users and authorities have incentives to deploy. We also extensively revisit global SQL public key encryption. Our result indicates a new application of the celebrated Noyan paradigm, and also establish a Nova connection from three-party NYKE. That's the end of our talk. Thanks for your attention. Any questions?